uh, dear students uh, let's discuss few questions based on your science practical skills uh, as i already told you when i was discussing question number 1 that section b actually uh, comprise of questions uh, based on your science practical skills so in this video we are going to discuss uh, question number 25 26 and 27 which is related to uh, chemistry practicals uh, so let's discuss question number 25 what do we observe on pouring acetic acid on red and blue litmus paper very simple question uh, uh, red litmus paper there will be no color change in case of red because it is an acid right and blue litmus paper will change to what red the color of blue litmus paper will change to red so the options are red, red litmus remains red and blue litmus turns red so option is what a just you have to write the option because uh, you know it's these questions are just one mark question so just write the option there is no need to explain these questions right moving forward question number 26 while preparing soap a small quantity of common salt is generally added to the reaction mixture of vegetable oil and sodium hydroxide which one of the following may be the purpose of add, adding common salt okay so the purpose of adding common salt is guys to favor the precipitation of the soap just uh, you know remember this particular information uh, logic is also there but uh, you know you will be able to understand logic in plus 1 when you will uh, read one chapter that is your equilibrium okay so just remember uh, the purpose of adding salt is what to favor the precipitation of soap so the option is what d the correct option is d just write the option that's it moving forward question number 27 a student texts about uh, 4 ml of distilled water in four test tubes marked p q r s so you have four test tubes one is p one is q one is r and one is what s now uh, he then dissolves in each test tube an equal amount of one salt so apart from distilled water you have one more salt uh, one salt in each test tube in p you see sodium sulfate so you know the formula for sodium sulfate is what na2 so uh i'm just explaining okay uh, you're not supposed to explain just you have to write the correct answer so next one is what your potassium sulfate in q so it is what your k2 so4 then next one is calcium sulfate in r so it is what your ca so4 and magnesium sulfate in s so it is what your mag mg so4 now very simple guys Uh, after that uh, he adds an equal amount of soap solution in each test tube on checking each of these test tube well he observes a good amount of lather in the test tube so good amount of lather or foam will only it will form when the hardness or the ions responsible for hardness are not present in that particular test tube okay then only otherwise it will form what scum so Uh, what is the reason behind the hardness in water so there are two types of hardness guys one is what your uh, temporary hardness temporary and this is what your hardness and one is what your permanent one is what your permanent hardness so this temporary and permanent hardness is basically what due to the <coughs> magnesium and calcium ions magnesium and calcium ions of what so bicarbonate chlorides and sulfates so which one is temporary hardness temporary hardness is basically what both magnesium and calcium hydrogen carbonate and that is what your temporary hardness and what about your permanent hardness so permanent hardness is due to again uh, these two ions okay and these two ions anion anionic part is what chloride and sulfate okay and these two constitute what Tem permanent hardness of what water 